Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to fetch data from MySQL database using PHP script with Vue JavaScript library and Axios in place of Ajax. This is our first video tutorial on Vue JavaScript library with PHP script and in this part, we will describe you how to use Vue JavaScript with PHP script for fetch data from MySQL database and display on web page. There are many viewers has requested us to publish video tutorial on Vue JavaScript library, so we have start publish video tutorial on how can we use Vue JavaScript library with PHP script for make dynamic website in PHP by using Vue JavaScript library. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database, and here we have one sample table. In this table, we have already inserted some data into this table. We will fetch this data and display on web page by using Vue JavaScript library with PHP script. This is our working folder. First we have open index.php file and and in this file we have already included bootstrap library Vue javascript library and axios library here we will use axios for send request to php script in place of ajax now we have go to html code part here in this division tag we have write id attribute is equal to crud app we will use this id attribute value in view object element as value. After this, we have make one HTML table with four table column like first name, last name, edit and delete. Under this table we will display sample table data by using view JavaScript library. Now we have moved to write Vue JavaScript code. So here we have write application variable is equal to new Vue object. Under this, first we have write element option. And here we have define division tag id crud app. This element will bind the new Vue object to HTML element. After this, here we have write data option, method option and created callback function. In data option, we have define all placeholder data. All methods will be defined under this methods option and created callback function will be called at the time of page load. In data option, we have write all data variable with blank value. Under this data variable, we will store all data, which has been received from PHP script. Now we have go to methods option, and here we have define fetch all data method, with callback function. Under this function, we have write axios.post method with two argument. In first argument, we have write URL to which we want to send request. So here we have write action.php file. In second argument, we have to define data, which we want to send with request. So here we have write action variable, with fetch all as value. After this, we have write dot then method with callback function. This function will be called if Axios request has been completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function, 
we have write application variable dot all data variable is equal to response dot data. So here store server data in all data local variable. Now we have go to action dot php file and here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root, and password set with blank value. After making database connection, this file will receive data from Axios request data in JSON string format. So for this here we have write dollar received data variable is equal to JSON decode function. Under this function, we have write file get contents function, and under this function, we have write php input variable. Here file get contents function JSON data, and by using JSON decode function, it will convert it into PHP object. Next we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar received data variable with action variable value is equal to fetch all, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample table, order by ID table column data in descending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. This statement will make query for execution. After this for execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. It will execute above select query. Now we have write while loop, and under condition, we have write dollar row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method. Under this method, we have write do class, with fetch a soak method. This method will return row of data, so by using this loop, it will fetch row of data by using dollar $row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar $data variable is equal to dollar $row variable. It will store single row of data in this dollar data variable in array format. Now we want to send response to Axios request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function and under this we have wrote dollar data variable. Next we have go to index.php file, and here data has been stored under all data variable, now for display this variable data under this table. For this here we have write table row tag, and here we have write v for directive is equal to, row variable in all data variable, by using this directive, it will fetch data from all data variable. In first table column, we want to display first name table column data, so here we have write double bracket, and between this we have write row variable dot first name, so in this column, it will display first name table column data. In second column, we want to display last name table column data, so here we have write double bracket, and between this we have write row dot last name, 
so it will display last name table column data in second column. We will make edit button and delete button at the time. We will discuss how to edit or delete MySQL table data using Vue JavaScript with PHP. Now when page has been load, then fetch all data function must be called. So we have go to created callback function, and here we have write this dot fetch all data method. So on page load it will call this function. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see when page has been load in browser. Then on web page, we can see one HTML table with sample MySQL table data has been filled in this table. Here we have use Vue JavaScript library and Axios for fetch data from MySQL database and display on web page with PHP script. Currently, we have not make edit and delete button, but we will make edit and delete button at the time of update delete data video tutorial. So, here we have seen how to use Vue JavaScript and Axios with PHP script for fetch MySQL table data and display on web page. In next part, we will discuss how to insert or add data into MySQL table by using Vue JavaScript and Axios with PHP script.